Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, short video. I'm here with my Espresso Works 7 piece set. Wanted to show you a couple of cool items I got. And um, I wanted to show you how to froth milk. Um, this started as a challenge to me, but over time I kind of figured it out. And just wanted to share some of these tips with you. First, I wanted to show you my uh, barista apron I bought. Um, I do have the full one as well, but this one's kind of want to have guests over. I kind of want to have that, you know, barista feeling and uh, comes with a couple pockets up front, a nice tie in the back, and um, really love this one, really cool. Um, so with the machine, you want to make sure you're plugged in, you press that on off button one time, and that uh, orange light is always is going to come on, and then once the green light comes on, then you're ready for either espresso or steaming. Um, so I learned that um, over time, you either want to use, uh, you know, you can use whole milk, oat milk, soy, soy milk, uh, 1%, 2%, but I kind of find out, I found out that uh, whole milk has given me the most froth, and I've been enjoying that one, um, I would say, the most. I do like to dabble in almond milk as well, but whole milk has been, um, has given me the best results. The machine does come packaged with this uh, stainless steel milk frothing pitcher, and on the inside, you'll see there are a couple of, I mean, I don't know if you can really see in the video, it's like kind of a measuring uh, situation where, you know, it's up to 12 ounces, it gives you the milliliters as well, so you can kind of like tell where you're at. Um, according to the manual, it says to fill this up um, about a third of the way. So on that, you can see the green light is on now. So what I like to do is this mil this steam wand kind of like uh, goes in and out. So I face it outward, and then I'll submerge the wand into the milk. And once it's underneath the milk, then I'll turn it to the steam, and then you can start hearing the machine working. Now you hear the bubbling, and it says to leave it on an angle and move the cup in a circular motion. And you know, as I can see, it's already started to foam, getting really nice. Um, and another good trick is what I do, is I leave my hand under, on the bottom of the frothing pitcher. And once that pitcher is a little too hot to touch, then you've reached your night. It, it's, it's already getting hot here, which is unbelievable. It's almost there. And you're gonna keep that in a circular motion. Wow, that's getting hot really quick. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're almost there. Wow. Awesome. And then once you reach your temperature or your frothing amount, you're gonna turn it out back to the middle setting. And I like to let it here, let some of the um, milk um, drip into the cup. Let the machine cool down for a bit. Um, Sometimes I do hear that steaming after, um, after a steaming or brewing function, so that's really cool. And it just lets you know that the machine's working really well and um, no issues there. Um, I do wanna show you one more tip um, when, when you're finished. So just wanna get you a, a, an idea of what the milk look, looks like. Uh, check this out. This is frothy as can be. See that? Excuse me. And this is what your milk will look like. Nice froth up there, steamed milk. And this is my double walled cup that I shared in my last video. Um, the milk is really hot, but can't feel a thing right now because you got a double glass wall, which is amazing. And last but not least, um, when you're done using the machine, you're gonna wanna power it off. And I wanna show you one last tip um, about cleaning it. So the machine does get hot, and it is obviously hot because we just did um, um, a frothing. But let me show you what I do real quick. So this is again that microfiber cloth that I bought from Espresso Works. Throw it in the, throw it in the, um, the washing machine once every week, I would say. Um, but I have no problem using it. I put some water on it, I wring it out, and let it dry for the next day. What I like to do at the end is I pull off the steam wand cover, and I basically take this cloth, and I clean the whole area because you know milk can be a very very stubborn substance and you want to make sure you get rid of that as much as possible. So I do that and another trick I learned over time is um, in the in the machine box with the set came these little tools that I had no idea what they were and over time I figured it out. This is one of them. They're kind of like small little um, 
needles, they help with a few different things, but one in particular that's really helpful for me is the steam wand, because, you know, obviously milk can be, you know, a very sticky substance, and uh, once it gets into places, it's really tough to get rid of. So what I like to do is, if it's really in there, I'll take a boiling cup of water, actually, and put the wand inside and let it break up everything that's in there, and then I'll take one of these items, push it through the hole, and just go up and down, up and down a few times, and just make sure you get rid of all the excess milk in there. And that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you.